Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Alan Glens versus Annan Rugby. Second 15 match today. This is the first time I've hosted the second 15 on our channel. Uh, as usual, we've got some commentary by my good self today. Um, we've actually got a joint man, a returning five favourite, Big Hamish from the second 15 who's had to pull out of injury. Hamish, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Manny. At least it was raining earlier on, but rain's pulled off. Rain's uh, wind's died down, so hopefully we get a decent game of rugby. Yeah, I hope so. We've just had a game on this pitch, so we've no idea what's happening. But big game for the twos today. Win this, win the league, and win the promotion for the club. Twos playing in a stellar performances day in, week in, week out this year. So yeah, let's wait till the game starts. So, a slight, Aaron putting in a brave performance, getting as many men as he could out, but it looks like it's going to be uncontested scrums today. So, yeah, uh, maybe a lighter day for the forwards than they thought. And with the weather improving that much, there's not as many scrums as I thought there was going to be. So, anyway. oh, switch inside. I think that's a smart move. Definitely, I mean, if we're going to defend it, then half of the good is to us, then we're attacking with it, we're going to use the wind and use it for the same thing. So, as usual, Joining the celebrations later today. Volunteer your own touch, hit back, boys! Good touch here, guys. Here, I'll take the first five minutes. I'll take, I'll take the first five minutes. Entertaining you good people today. a bit of space, he's known for his pace, and he tries to go himself, he goes around the outside, he cuts back on the inside, but he is tackled there, he's not helped though, so he gets to continue, Wilson there, the first man to cover, he gets over, secures the ball, nice to get him to find good off hold there, oh, that side drop there from Young, Brown's looking lively in that first two minutes, Hamish, eh? Definitely, I mean, Brown's not good, you can see Matty by the slip, he nearly slipped as well, but, quick start, and he's done lucky enough to score there, where we drop ball. Yeah, I'm right, Daniel Wilson, first man that rock a few years ago, he'd have never been anywhere near that, so big shout out to that man. Well, if he's in poor events for his rugby career. Uncontested scrums like he's used to have the ball, give it to the 10. Go for a crash ball, but as Bruno Corsi putting in these hits, he's been putting in all year and puts the man on his arse. Shouts here from Anna, look up for this. Thought he might be giving a tougher challenge to Glenn's than he thought, but see, kick deep in there. But is it going out? And it's right out. 
Well, it's under 22 and it nearly hit the camera, man. <laughs> oh no, I was outside the 22. First line out of the game. Of Cofield has thrown consistently throughout the year. No line it's not your expertise, but that's not good enough yet, is it? Oh, sorry. And Phillips looking to power over the try line. He gets as close as he can, but he is taken. And that's a try there for Fraser Phillips. Sets the tone for the game. 5 0. He'll be buzzing about that. That'll be him on the bus celebrating even more. Right, 5 0. Good try there for Fraser Phillips, showing good strength there, Hamish. Always does carry contact hard and fast, you know, he's, when he's carrying, he seems to load his body weight and then just match them and push past the defender. Yeah, definitely. Cofield and Lennon would like to have a bit of a chat just to discuss what went wrong in that line but I'm sure they'll sort it for the rest of the match. We've actually got Matt Byers with kicking today. Matt Byers had a depressing one of kicks against Strayed in the way. Slot 7 from 7. Which was very impressive. We were all very surprised, but pleasantly surprised. So he's awarded the kicking duties. And he's successful again, making it 7 0 to Alan Glenn's Matty Byers. We dark horse with the best kick in the club, would you say, Hamish? Definitely. When you were, I can up at Strayed and we were thinking who's going to kick is going to be long. Matty Byers steps up and then puts seven through in the same conditions as we've got today, so it's a close to Forgive us, ladies and gentlemen. Partnership has been together for about seven years, working well together as well as we have. Stuart Price gives it to. Oh, it goes in behind there. Matt Byers looks to go himself, takes a man on the outside. Oh, he breaks not one but two. Getting in those extra yards for Glens. That's Phillips and McKenzie right over that ball to secure that. Slight drop the ball there from Keenan. Uncharacteristic for that man. Scrum down Alan Ball. What's your thoughts on the game so far, Amish? Seemed to be getting decent yards, but just put hands in to get close to the ball further. You can get along, you'll bounce them better. It means you target a shoulder. Once you turn them, he can't hit you. Okay? I think the average age of the men's forward pack there is about 23. So that shows how much we appreciate our young boys here at Aaron Glenn. And Scott Hughes brings up that average significantly. And I have the ball. They're going to try and play their short game and maybe just get a wee snipe through. They look to go on their own and they nearly get away there, nearly breaking the tackles. Tighter, 
the league champions right now. We actually should hopefully be after this game. Cofield and Lennon not letting any man through. Aaron again. Aaron trying to chip, changing up the game for a bit. Aaron goes out. Aaron not too hard down here. Slowly but surely being accurate and trying to get a bit more over the game line. What do you think? Simple rugby in conditions like this is the way to go. No point in trying to sling it wide when it's going to potentially dominate. So, long lines have a bit of a redemption up here this little bit. See, four man again. Ryan Lennon, maybe Colin. Go for the throw. Go to front, oh, they faked it. Instead, they go to Lennon. And successful. Fraser Phillips will always go himself if he has that ball back position. Scott Young over to secure them, doing his job. Ryan Clinton has the ball. Oh, he bosses a man. Oh, he gets through another man. Nearly going the full way himself, the big guy. Oh, there's Colin Lennon finding that wee gap. He's always got a wee map for that. But not quite this. Calder has it. And he gives it to Lethem, but Lethem has a slight drop of the ball. And he will play the knock on advantage. And the holding up. Yep. First knock on will be for Aaron Lenz, and then he'll be held up for Aaron. So that will be Aaron. Slight drop of the ball. 7-0 here, and if you just joined us here, 7-0 to Harlan Glenn. So Hamish, who's your stand? You've been playing with the boys the whole year. Who's your standout performance of the year, do you think, of the season? Lots of players have improved quite a bit, like uh, Kerry Cofield and Scott Young have improved massively since the start, and every week they're putting a great shift week in, week out, so definitely keep an eye out for those two. Yeah, I agree. I think yourself, Hamish, a big shout out to you. I think your game's come on leaks and bounds. He's had an injury, so he can't play this last game, unfortunately. But at least I've got him here today. Oh, a good flat ball there from Harry. Harry keep playing rugby like that. Glenn's will have to defend. Like they've been defending, but just for the full game. We dive there from Cofield. Almost getting there, but not quite. Moore showing excellent knowledge of the rules there. Perfectly legal tackle to put Anna under a bit of pressure. And a good tackle there. Lennon and Cofield working like magic together. Every single ball that comes to them. Well, put in those tackles. Scott Young as well. Scott Hughes gets a good pull. Ball to it and now it's a chase. Lethem's chasing along with Scott Hughes. Bannon collects good tackle. Good pass there from the Anna man. Glenn's put Glenn's did really well there to work up and now put Annan under a bit of pressure on the boat half Keeney has the ball, this is where this man can thrive. He'll find the gap and punish you for it. He gives the ball, gives it to Nicky. Nicky gives it to Letham. Letham tries to go himself. He's got a man outside him. He's going to, is he going to use it or try and dummy it? He uses it and Matt Byers runs in and Alan Glenn's second 15 show why they are deserving champions of this league. Hamish, what do you have to say about that try? Classic to his try. He's a lot of width, hands, and how you like to run it. Definitely. There's a good atmosphere around the Glen supporters today. A big celebration for me. from your technical team as well. <laughs> So, Matt Byers looking to convert his own try. And he's successful, curling it in, two from two, 14 now to Alan Glenn's. Stuart Cameron, the man holding the tee there, but he's been a key part of this two season as well. Showing vast improvements for his game. He's running right by me now. So it's a really good thing to see. Hamish, the fact that forward pack probably does have the average age of about 22 or 23, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I felt like when Sack came up to see this, there's been a lot less boys coming up there in the world, but it just shows you. Oh, and Fraser Phillips with the boss, does he go for two? Oh, but that man has taken him down. Fraser Phillips, so they had vengeance in those eyes. Scott Young has it, and a good offload to Lennon. 
Scott Young looking to finish the job by a good clear out here, which he does. Scott Young showed good technical ability there. Moore has it. He gives it to Bunacossi. Bunacossi to Lethem. Lethem gives it to Keenan. Keenan looks like to go himself. He tries to break away and he does. Oh, and he's broken two men, three men. And he really run it in. And he has. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, and Nicky has ran it in. Nicky has been scoring tries for fun in this two season. Hopefully he can continue in the next. But there we go. 19 mil to Alan Glenn. 19 mil. Around 20 minutes in. Sorry, my ladies and gentlemen. I was looking at my watch. But uh, 10 minutes in. Oh, Lethem taking kicking duties over for Matt Byers. Lethem also known for being a pretty good kicker. The Alan Glenn scene. Apologies for any coarse language you hear from the sidelines, ladies and gentlemen. Missed that, unfortunately, so that will remain 19 at mil to Alan Glenn. So yeah, 19 nil, ladies and gentlemen. 19 nil. If you're if just if you're just joining us or you're not aware, this is for Alan Glenn's second 15 to actually win West Reserve too. So this is for the championship game. They had a shaky shaky start. They lost away to DL and had a bad home loss to Greenock. But apart from that, I think Glens have shown great resilience this year. And they're looking like well deserving champions. Good good kick there from oh, but it's falling. And in fullback has it, but Byers looks like to take him. And he does. Byers working really hard there. The Annan man getting a good offload though. Well done to him. Oh, and the tackle is broken. Annan have a bit of space here. They use a two on one. Connor McKenzie's put in. They're going on the outside. Keenan looks like to tackle. Ian Keenan is successful. But Fraser Phillips over to steal. And that is a good steal there from Fraser Phillips. Fraser Phillips working hard there. Glenn's having the ball back. Annan looking good there though. And that's a penalty there for Alan Glenn's. What can you say about Fraser Phillips getting penalties for Glenn's all day, Hamish? Eh? He's shown a lot of his technical side a lot recently. He's learned his jackal games improved. He's learned how to pass as well. So I definitely come a long way with that technical side of his game, but he can still run hard when he's got the ball in hand. Yeah, definitely. So there we go. Glenn's having another shot at their line now. Find the rhythm, hopefully. So Cofield to throw in. Cofield already looking a bit muddy. So shows he's working hard. As Cofield throws to Clinton and that is a good line out there from Alan Glenn's. We have fakes to Bunacossi. Lethem looks to cut inside himself. And he makes it too. And he tries to go the full way himself. Out of the back pass to Scott Hughes. And Glenn's running a try. Oh, oh. Alan Adam Lethem will be happy with that assist. That will be, please him. Scott Hughes though converting to make it 24 now. Go on, Hamish. What's your thoughts? Brilliant try, but specifically just a lovely offload by Adam getting the ball out the back into Scott Hughes, who was waiting there expecting it. Brilliant from Glenn's. Yeah. And there's Matt Byers back on kicking duties. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Fraser Phillips expresses his enjoyment of today. Oh, and Byers misses. Uncharacteristic from that man, but yeah, Matt Byers missing. So it will remain 24-0 to Alan Glenn's 24-0. 
Aaron looking better though. Aaron looking better than we thought. Hopefully they continue giving Les a bit of a challenge. Darren Hall offload the game. and kick back off and it looks like to up uh, can't see too many spectators Byers kicks it does find it <laughs> Matt Byers outside the 22 there <laughs> young Ewan Woods trying to get his team some points but no that'll be an Aaron ball and call a five man line out I've had to move positions, ladies and gentlemen, so I can actually see the game. So if you see me in short, apologies. Go up and Lennon, get, nearly getting the spill there, but just quite unlucky with that. Whoa, big shout. And again, looking to use that sort of simple one-hit rugby to get just chip away the Glens defence. Had some men on the right side there, they could have used that. Oh, injury here for and the Annan man. <laughs> Gav Ross, Glenn's substitute today, helping him up. Looks like he's okay. Lennon being called for offside there. So that'll be an Annan penalty. They look like to go for the line out. And they are successful. Good kick there from that man. Five man called for Annan. Probably the only commentator in the world who's standing on the pitch right now, but <laughs> needs must. And Annan throw a little tail ball. Successful, but Scott Young's into pinch. Scott Young, great initiative there to get that ball back. Alan Glens will have the ball. Big Pricey has the ball. He looks like to give it to Callum Moore. Callum Moore kicks and looks to go out. And it's successful, so Alan Glens, uh, Aaron will have the ball again in the line out. But good work there from Alan Glens. Scott Young especially, getting that pinch in. Stealing that ball back. That's the rain starting to come on a little bit now here in Annan. Referee looks to be quite strictly offside, as he should. And Daniel Wilson soft the ball, controlling it and kicking it through, nearly getting it, but puts a good tackle in anyway. Good work there from Daniel Wilson. Oh, but the ball's chipped through, and Conor McKenzie looks to be chasing that. Will he get a boot on it? He does, but it's not his strength, and it's went to the side. And then going from having a penalty in their own, in the Glens five metre line, to being on their own five metre line. A tightly contested rock, and Glens have got that ball back. But the ref deals it illegal. Oh, no, me get the, uh, Alan Glens get the penalty. And they go for the twick tap, but they say no. So Alan Glenn's having that penalty, working their way through. Sorry if you're missing Hamish, ladies and gentlemen. I know he's a fan favourite, but he's had to run and get something from our bus. So he stuck with me. Any thoughts, Peter Watson? Just excellent. Yeah. Good. Good words there from one of our first 15 players who's came down to watch and support the team. And Glenn's looking to walk it in in a five-man line-out. Go straight to Colin Lennon. And he looks to go himself. Bannon sniff onto the ball. Stuart Price has the ball. He gives it to Moore. Moore goes in behind. 
Gives it to Nicky. Letham looks to go on his own. And Letham scores the ball. The scores the try. Sorry, somebody's phone. Matt Byers looking to kick again. And he slots it between the posts. Successful conversion there from Matthew Byers. So that will be 31 0 to Alan Lenz. 31 0. It's looking like they're going to have a bit of fun today. Bannon putting up a better fight than we anticipated, so good on them. Hopefully they'll have a good successful season next year. I'm sure they will. Ah, and that's right to Cofield. Cofield looks to go himself, he tries to break the tackles, but he's put down. Stuart Price in for that ball, gives it to Moore. Moore tries to go beside West, gives it to Letham. Letham looks to cut back in and go himself, but he goes to ground instead. Price gives it to Moore. Moore tries to kick it through, but it's hit off the iron man. Oh, bit of afters there. Well, the weather's very temperamental here at Arnon. It's now been turning into quite a good day. Penalty to Alan Lenz. Referee wasn't too keen on the quick tap, but now he has. Ryan Clinton has it. He looks to go himself. But he's taken down successfully. Stuart Price gives it to Moore. Moore goes in behind. Oh, Bruno Corsi dropping the ball, giving it to the Arnon man. Letham putting in a crunching tackle, though. Advantage knock on to Arnon. Letham again putting in the tackles. Oh, after here in front of us, unsavoury scenes. Pete Keenan trying to go himself, but we've got some unsavoury scenes here. Ah, oh, high tackle there from Arnon. That will be a yellow card, at least, I would presume. Yeah, that'll be a yellow card at least. I'd Penalty only, I think that's a bit of a silly decision in my opinion. That is, uh, I think even if it's an accident, you've got to watch these mitigations. We've got an injured Arnon player here. Temper's soaring a bit here, <laughs> unexpectedly, but... Who knows what happens in that pitch? Um, well, welcome back, Hamish. What were you away for, Hamish? Tell the people they missed you. Uh, Pricey managed to get a couple of bottles of wee cheap fizz and a wee trophy in case he win today, so and win the league and get the promotion. So <laughs> I went well, up to the bus to look for it, but I think it's been left up at the clubhouse, so I think I'm going to have to run up and get that. Oh, well, that's a shame.
Callum all looking to kick from the penalty, from the high tackle. Kicks. Nearly doesn't make touch, but uh, unfortunate mistake there for well, for unfortunate for them, the Aaron players. Atlan Glens do have the Colin Lennon just receiving instructions from his brother. to Colin Moore, he gives it to Stuart Price, Trish, he looks to go himself, but it's taken down, glides without a scrum half, Cooper Brown fills in, gives it to Moore, Moore looks to go straight, gives it to Bunakossi, but a slight mistake there from Alan Glenn. went backwards though, however, oh no, not deemed by the ref, knock on to Annan, Annan will have the scrum. Not much happened apart from the fights, hey, Hamish, recently. Fights? <laughs> oh, yeah, you were away. You were away. <laughs> what happened? Just afters. Temper, tempers flaring, Hamish, tempers flaring. What started that bad tackle? Or? Uh, I think so, but uh, it's looks to a calm down now. And then looked to go blindside. Oh, he looks to go himself, he nearly does. But Fraser Phillips went in that tackle there. Same tackle there again from Cofield. And only to go on the outside, but Fraser Phillips puts him down. And they go on the inside, Buna Corsi does get him down eventually. Slight knock on there from the Aaron man, it looked like from here, but no advantage coming. It's no advantage coming. Scrum down, Alan Glenn's ball uncontested. So, Hamish, are you going to behave yourself in the bus home? Try my best, can't any problems, anything but. And the ball's released, given to Moore. Oh, Keenan slips. So, no, not Keenan, Bunakossi slips. Keenan looks to go himself. Bunakossi makes up for his mistakes, so gets a good, good ruck in. Fraser Phillips in, puts the ball back. So, Hughes looks to go himself, gives it to Bunakossi. Bunakossi took in like four men to get him down, very impressive. Keenan again having the ball. Try to go on his own, offloads it to Byers, and Byers runs it in. Alan Glenn scoring again, simple but effective rugby. Simple but effective rugby. Alan Glenn's training quite a lot of that, popping, just evading the contact, putting the ball away. That's him, ran it in 36 0. 36 0 to Alan Glenn. Good rugby, eh, Hamish? Just good rugby all round. Definitely love the way offload game, but saw as we came round the corner there to go around the blind side, it was about three against five. Didn't think we'd get through, but we wee bit of footwork, good passing, and we're away through, so trusting the skill of the players. Yeah, definitely. Byers up to kick again. And, oh, Byers losing his mojo a bit. Missed the consistency, not as good anymore, but sure he'll come back. Matt Byers missing there, so the score will remain 36-0 to Alan Glenn's. And then having a bit of a longer team talk just to get themselves back into the game a bit. So 36-0, Alan Glenn's.
Han Anna missing that ball, but it does go 10 metres, so it should be there. And it goes right out. That'll be an Alan Glenn's ball. Glenn's given the choice, and they opt for the scrum. The uncontested scrum, so just a need for any contest. Get the guaranteed ball back. Contest his scrum, not much to say, but Scott Hughes, number eight picks, gives it to Pricey. Keenan looks like to go himself, gives a decent pass and good take from Biles. Does he go on the outside? And he's out on the outside again. Does he run it in? He's going to go his full way, but a good tackle there from the Annan man. And he's taken down. Matt Byers deemed to be held there by the referee, so uh, Annan will have the penalty. Good tackle there from the Annan man, wasn't it? I thought Byers was in again. Definitely, we, like you said, you thought Matt, ba Matt Byers was away, but. Great tackle, but I think Matty Baez just looked to try and release the ball, but then the ball kind of got stuck in his hand there when he tried to release and ref pinged him for being held and trying to get back up again. Yeah, so that'll be Annan with the ball. And Lennon looked like he's going to try and compete here. He nearly does, but not quite. Adam Man looks to go himself. Bunakossi calling a big shout there to go left and cover the field. Going round the side, not popular with the home fans. Penalty to Aaron. Stuart Price thinking. <laughs> Joined by a wee guest speaker here, first 15 superstar Pete McCauley. He's known for misbehaving, but what do you think of the game so far? Uh, yes, very good game. Um, End of the first half, I think Glens have uh, already secured a bonus point, so we're just looking to uh, put more points on Aaron and move up the league, really. Because we're look at it. If you look at the game on the uh, live stream, there we're, we're really doing a number on them. So, I mean, Callum Moore, I have to say, has been very impressive. Uh, obviously, uh, Aaron with the ball now, but it's really going nowhere to big Conor McKenzie. So I think can't, Conor McKenzie can just, yeah, easily do put it through there and uh, it'll be another easy win for the Glens thank you very much yeah. good sensible words Peter thank you very much for joining us and then they're looking like to get a bit more momentum about them the crowd behind them looking to get something out this game we couple of scores but Scott Hughes trying not his best to let all that happen Danny Wilson trying to hold the man up but unfortunately not successful And then looking like they're coming into their own a bit now, they're using the ball a bit more wider. Glenn's Glenn's I get penalised there for not rolling away. Coach Andrew Hughes, not happy about that. And and an this from smart decision considering it's non contested. Smart decision. to try to keep using that ball, try to find some sort of gap in the Glen's defence. <laughs> Penalty to Alan Glen's not releasing. Stuart Price looks to go himself. Gives it to Bruno Cossi though. Oh, Brown with a good offload to Keenan there. Keenan looks to find a way through but it isn't quite successful. 
in from the side there from Alan Glenn's and have the penalty back. Aaron missing touch there. And Calamur collects it. But by the home fans deemed not quite. Good steal there from Lennon. Lennon showing what a good line-out jumper he can be by the that steal. Hughes looked like to try and get as much ground for his can for his team. Cooper Brown nearly breaking the tackle himself there. Up, Lennon looked to steal again, but Aaron are successful. Oh, Daniel Wilson getting shown and going a bit there. That man's improved tenfold since his old days, but <laughs> not his finest moment there. Aaron looking like to keep finding a way through, but Glenn's defence is good and solid. Glenn's are hoping to bring this sort of defensive attitude into next season when they've got some harder opponents to face, some very hard opponents. chip in there from Alan Glens, but he gives it to Keenan. He kicks back into a bit of space and he chases his own kick while he put the tackle in as well. He tries his best. Ah, I guess a wee slip there, but Cofield's up to chase. The hooker of all people coming up to chase. Oh, and poor Daniel Wilson. Not quite getting there. Uh, and Callum Moore, hands on ball. And that is a pet. Callum Moore, Callum Moore, vice captain and consistent leader of the twos. Scare the steal there. And he's on that. Callum Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Callum Moore, what a Callum Moore this year, Hamish. He's been something else this year. I mean, there's a wee mistake there, not finding touch with the kick, but he's been unbelievable with the ball in hand, controlling the game. And... Oh, one sec. Straight out. <laughs> Straight out there. But in their own 22, so Alan Lenz had the ball right in front of the right in front of the commentary box. So, excuse me if you don't hear anything. Cameron Cofield, the man, number two, right in your screen there. Right to Colin Lennon. Successful. And he looks to go himself, and he does. He finds a way through, and he drives to the line. He's got the support of the crowd, and he's going as far as he can, but he's taken to the ground. Cameron Cofield on catch. It's him getting into a bit of a 50 cuff. And Scott Hughes trying to break his way through, takes five men on, but is eventually taken into the ground. Stuart Price gives the ball to Moore. Moore gives it to Bunakossi, but a wee spill there from Nicky, unfortunately for that man. And that means Annan will have the ball. Annan Boy tries to break it right back into the rock action. Boy's trying to play a bit of defence on their own line. Ball's kicked. And there was on 22, it goes right out. And that is half time to Alan Glenn's half time. It is 36 0 here at Aaron. 36 0. 36 0. Hey, Mr. Ward, in that half, can we get much better than that? Definitely. We started off really strong within the past kind of 15, 10 minutes. We kind of just shut ourselves off a wee bit. We let them get back into it. I think maybe the ref kind of saw. Bit of, bit of us being a bit too dominant and decided to ping us for a couple of wee silly things just to kind of slow it down and give Aaron a chance, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. 
Alan Glenn's having a wee team talk. We might get some full-time interviews today, if we're lucky. We'll need to ask Mr Technical Producer if he wants that. But <laughs> so, yeah. Coach Andrew Hughes leading today. With head coach Wilson Fulton unfortunately taking ill on a very special day for his team, a big, massive shout-out to that man who's, who came in about three, four years ago. Uh, when we're fighting for relegation in this league and I look at us about to all but confirmed as champions. So Wilson Fulton, big shout out to him, yeah, Hamish. Definitely. A lot of boys have improved under him. A lot of boys have kinda of maybe had a wee change of position, maybe started off maybe at the centres and been shoved out, moved into wing and that and we've had a wee shuffle about with some players but it seems to have a lot of them have found a kind of place in the team now. Yeah, definitely. Welcome back everyone, second half just about to kick up, there's been a couple of changes, we've got Connor McKenzie coming off, Danny Wilson, um, Ryan Clinton and Fraser Phillips all coming off, with Gavin Ross, uh, Colin Davidson, Ewan Woods and Callum Cock all coming onto the field. Thank you, Hamish, for covering for me there. Welcome back to the second half. <laughs> we'll have a quick word from one of our players, actually, today, who's just came off for a substitute. Ryan Clinton, what was that like out there today? Pretty messy, I'm not going to lie. It's up there with Straff Hendrick and how bad the pitch was. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't fun, especially if a team been on right before it, eh? Oh, definitely not. It's, it's honestly like a coups have been on the field. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll go. <laughs> we'll go out and win this second half. Anyway, back to it, so. Scrum down at Glenn's ball. <laughs> and then have the feed. And then number nine looks to go himself. But he's covered there by Ewan Woods, the young man. Just get old enough to start playing seniors. Good long career ahead of him, it looks like. Put in his first strike with this game. Cameron Kofi looking to steal on the way down there, showing a bit of a niche technique, nearly coming off. And then chip in behind, but Keenan and uh, Kirk should have this covered. And continue to have the ball. Glenn's looking like to get it back. A bit of fight there from Stuart Price. The old the experienced head. Knock on there from Aaron. No. <laughs> so 
Scrum down there for Aaron. Scrum down for Aaron. And here's a wee man who got a few shout outs today. <laughs> Big character in the Island Glen's changing him. It'll be a good mate of mine for tw 10 years. What have you got to say about the game today? Uh, the pitch is going to need a wee bit of work done to it after this. Um, bye, good game. It's been nice. Nice and dirty. Cheers, Alison, for bringing us in. <laughs> That's a very good, nice bus driver. Fraser Phillips there, speaking. Oh, I don't have the ball. Look to use it inside centre, try and break a bit of length of line. I want to go the same way. Use our backs there, Stuart Cameron eyeing them up. Stuart Cameron eyeing him up again, that's him getting right back in position. Good luck from that man. The ball's held up. High tackle there called for Aaron. Aaron have the penalty. They decide to tap and go. They're looking to get something out of this game. That's well, just a try or a penalty, I'm sure they're just looking for something. To go use that ball, that they'll try to use that tight ball. This will test Glenn's defence. Good practice. The advantage coming, Dean, by the referee. Not rolling away. Yep. We're getting, sh getting shaky here. Hey, we saw this a good chance for Glenn's to show that we can do in defence. Uh, we've given away a couple of too many penalties away, not rolling away. A couple of high tackles as well. I think the refs kind of. It's almost at the point where he might say next one's a yellow, so hopefully this shows where I can discipline can show up and we can prove to ourselves that we can defend our line without giving away silly penalties and we can defend well. Yeah, it's wise words. And it looked like towards the edge towards that line, but Cameron showing his experience there and holding the man up, trying to earn his team the scrum penalty, the scrum. Team does a mall. If that doesn't go anywhere, that'll be an Alan Glens. No way. There. There we go. Alan Glens showing great resilience there. Cameron reading that pack, showing his experience of the game and getting Alan Glens that scrum. Well done there. Nicky Boone, of course, he's running that lines he's been running all year. Letham as well, doing that classic cut back inside and gives a good offload, but I think that was deemed forward by the referee. Becky and Adam, I think, were probably the most electric centres in this West Reserve too. I was joined by another man who's came off the park, who's had an extremely good year. He's had a few shouts today. Scott Young, how do you doing? How do you find that game today? It's very enjoyable. Pitch wasn't great. Yeah, that's been a common complaint amongst the players. <laughs> Uh, what about the lineouts and the rocking and everything? What did you think about the game in general? That's alright, it's just very slow today, but um, it's what's expected with the conditions. Lineouts were good though. Uh, Collins put in a good shift, managing to disrupt a lot of their lineouts. Yeah, good. Yeah, definitely agree. Scott Young, he's my competitor next year, so <laughs> I'm only kidding. Definitely in a celebration mood today, ladies and gentlemen, because of this championship game. So we're taking a bit more of a relaxed approach. And I'm still looking like to try get... Oh, and it's a Glenn's penalty. There you go. Who was it? Oh, of course, it's that man, Neil Cameron, the jackal legend, getting this ball. Another penalty for Alan Glenn's. It's probably his most famous skill. Neil Cameron, some player. You ever rocked against Neil Cameron in training, Hamish? Is that a nightmare? Lose the ball every time against him. Can he beat him in the rocks? Yeah, definitely. So, big Gav Ross coming in and, and Cooper, along with Colin Lennon. And who else is coming in? And big Caldo. So, uh, we've got an experienced, a good experienced uh, forward pack now. Go right to Colin Lennon. Good, good line out there. 
Gives it to Pricey. Pricey gives it to Cameron. Cameron boshes. He only oh, takes about three men on there. Pricey gives it to Calamour. Calamour gives it to Bunacossi. Bunacossi to Letham. Letham to Keenan. Keenan looks to go himself. Calamour looks to look back in. Keenan's still going. But Callum Cook is in there to secure. He goes at a nine instead. Calamour has the ball. He gives it to Letham. Letham looks to cut back in. Go himself. He's looking for that offload. He gets it off to Cameron. Cameron goes to go. Presents it back. Glenn's looking like to play for a quick ball there. Calamour spots a bit of a gap. Does he get anything come off it? And it's went through. Alan Glenn's shown what they can do and why they deserve to get promoted with that phase of play there, eh, Hamish? Definitely used the width there. We got round and then when we came back on the bounce, we, Lum looked up, saw a bit of space in behind. Brilliant wee chip in behind and on the five. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to have to move to see this game. <laughs> Aaron to throw, Colin Lennon to try steal. Go up, goes right over, but Gavros takes it, the most ex the experienced head in this team. Still showing his worth. Pick and go there from Big Caldo. And a try there from the big man. Making that 41-0 Caldo, running in the scores. 41-0 to Alan Glens. I think it sums up too as rugby this game is the fact we can have such a difference in ages but everyone's still playing for the one badge, one team. It's so just a good thing, isn't it? Definitely. We've all came together and playing on the same badge, playing for the same team and we're all playing the same style of rugby. No one's wanting to try and play forward rugby or someone's wanting to try and play wide rugby. We're all trying to play the same game here. Yeah, definitely. No matter the age or where you come from. So Adam Letham, back kicking. Adam kicks up high and is successful, making that 43 0 to Alan Glenn. 43 0 by my calculations. Yes, I've been confirmed that's right. <laughs> and that man you can see right there, Daniel Wilson, just after playing 40 minutes of rugby, is now the touch judge. <laughs> Giving a big thumbs up to the camera there. <laughs> And to kick off, I'm looking to hopefully get something for this game. Well, hopefully for them, but Glenn's going to do everything they can to make that not happen. Adam Lefham has the ball, he looks to kick it himself. Oh, he runs it instead, goes for the fake, tries to get through by good tackle there from the Aaron man. Penalty there from Alan Glenn's. Penalty there from Alan Glenn's. And there from Aaron looking to get something in. Stuart Price looking to get that ball back, but he's so trying to steal the ball. And setting up in their pods, trying to play their sort of style of game. And Aaron looking to go wide this time. Oh, he's taking to the ground. Stuart Cameron helping him with the take to the ground. Up, who's going to be the tackler there? Gav Ross. Gav Ross and Cooper Brown, one of the oldest and youngest of the team working together. Ah, nice. That's Neil Cameron in again, and he's got Glenn's another penalty. And what can we say? He's done it again. He has done it again, eh, Hamish? He's ridiculously good at the breakdown, Neil Cameron. Always seems to just time it right, on his feet every time, hands on the ball straight away. And refs can never find anything wrong with it. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, Alan Glenn's having another penalty for holding on to the ball. Callum Moore going for the ball and it's very successful. Gets a good nudge there. There's big Daniel Wilson with the flag up. He's been, he played the first 40 minutes. Having a few refreshments tonight, Mazza. 
Ignore that comment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a good boy. Cofield to throw in. But to go to Lennon, they go right to the front. Not the best, not the best line out there. And then have the ball back. Penalty there from Alan Glenn. Holding on to the ball. It's not the same man again, is it? <laughs> Callum Moore. Callum Moore looking to kick out. And he does successfully. Hopefully a better line out here for Alan Glens, because we come up to these harder leagues, we're going to have to up our line-out game, don't you think? <laughs> Ball to Colin Lennon. He went back, so that's deemed legal. Cooper Byrne with the ball. Give it to Callum Moore. Cabo looks to go himself. The baby rhino in action. He's back. And he gives a wee off the back pass. Awful. <laughs> and Cooper nearly goes himself, but gives a good ball present instead. Callum Moore has the ball. Gives it to Bunacossi. Bunacossi looks to try and break his way through. Gives it to Cameron. Cameron looks to go himself. Gives an awful to Lennon. Lethem Let has a bit of space. Keira looks to go himself. And it's successful. Alan Glenn's playing Alan Glenn's rugby. It doesn't get much better than that, ladies and gentlemen. Cameron giving the offload to Lethem. Lethem finding that gap, to, creating the two on one chance, feeding in Keenan to make it 48 0, ladies and gentlemen. 48 0. Yeah. Doesn't get much better than that, Hamish, does it? Does not. Simple Glenn rugby, finding the wee hole in defence and just a cheeky wee offload to put us through. Brilliant stuff. Adam left and looking to kick here. Make it the big 50. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm counting myself. I may be slightly out. I don't know if I am or not, but I, I make it 48 0 myself. And it's 50 0. 50 0 to Alan Glenn. So broke half a century. So again, ladies and gentlemen, if you just joined us, this is all but confirmed promotion and the league title to Alan Glenn's second 15. So a successful, successful year. Started off rocky, but we brought it back. Did that cut that? Probably did. <laughs> <laughs> and Aaron looking like to try get anything from this game they can go for a short one right to Brown the young man Brown he goes and big oh and he boshes there we go and that's light by the away crowd there gives it to Gavros experienced head and he gets a good few yards there with the other experienced held Caldo coming in secure gives it to Pricey and gives it to Kirk, Kirk tries to wake his bay in he works well to keep the ball in. Well done to Kirk. He almost went out, but he played well there. And here we go to Cameron. Cameron gives it to Cofield. Cofield looks. Oh, he goes himself. He goes a fake show and go. Gives it to. Oh, gives it to Hewan Woods, but the ball has been deemed forward, unfortunately. Alan Glenn's looking like they're getting into this game and they want to finish this season on the best way they possibly can. Isn't that right, Peter McCauley? Aye, it looks a bit of a weight off for the Glens here. Sorry, no no chance back for Aaron. So, uh, yeah, absolute thrashing from the Glens. Yeah, go. definitely. Definitely. Few subs being made here. Callum Moore coming off, Sean Kirk coming on. And Adam Letham being moved to 10. <laughs> Callum Moore, what for the people in this successful year and successful game? I don't even know. Easy. Tough at the top, big guy. Tough for the top. Good words there. Good words there from the Glens to his vice captain. Sean Cock making an impact right away, trying to get a tackle in. Adam Letham takes him to the ground. Neil Cameron in, will he do it again? And he, oh. Shows a good knowledge for the, the rules there and bailing out. 
And he's going for one more. And he gets it again. That's a hat trick of jackals in about 10 minutes. And he decides to tap and go himself. Ah, but the referee deals it. The referee deals it not. Sean Cook getting involved right away. Unsavory scenes in a 50 0 game, but. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know. I don't know if you heard that. I'm really sorry, Lady That was that so unprofessional for me. Oh. Um, Calvary Cofield, that's, that's the ball. Gives it to Stuart Price. Stuart Price has it. Gives it to Peter. Pete, Pete tries to run it in. And it's a try for Alan Glenn's. 55 no. I can't see from here who it was. Sorry, I think it was Nicky Bunacossi. Nicky Bunacossi showing having a, a probably one of his best seeds I've seen rugby ever. Played a really good game. And again, another try for his team. Scored a hat trick a few weeks back. He may be on for another one, I think, now. Oh, Andy. 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 Look at the there to make it 57 now. Matt Byers, we've had a good few words about you today. <laughs> Both good and bad. What do you think of the game today? Ah, jeez, I mean, it's not too bad, but I think I'd have scored a bit three more if you get any traction underneath the feet, you know what I mean? Ah, definitely. I felt quite sorry for you in a couple of points when you were trying to run it in in that cow field, but... <laughs> a, good, a good few kicks today, eh? Good few bad ones as well, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're saying you went seven from seven in straight, and we're hoping for another repeat. That was strategic. Yeah, we'll take that. I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> I did get my. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, a bit of personal chat there. The, the stream is went a bit haywire today, but we're fine with that. Fifty-seven now, ladies and gentlemen. Fifty-seven. And a slight knock on there from Pete Keenan means that Alan uh, Annan will have the ball. Just it down. Scrum down, hand and ball. <laughs> and it looked like to get something from this game. User in behind man, a bit of a pre plan mood. Move. Price gives it to Cameron. Cameron looks to blow himself. Gives a wee chip. It's covered but it's stopped. Pete Keenan looks to tackle the man. With Kirk, and they tackle him out right into the technical team. <laughs> Alan Glenn's have that line out. Keenan and Kirk working really well together, just like the rest of the season. Cofield lining up, I'm talking louder so he can hear me. Cofield two throw in. 
Colin Lennon showing good command of the line out there. And getting that off. Scott Hughes, Captain Scott Hughes, trying to find his way over the line. Cameron to go himself. Messi gives it to Gav. Gav gives it off the floor. Oh, it's not far enough. That'll so be an advantage. Oh, it's a good pace. And Scott Hughes, former captain, the current captain, working together. Let's put that man on the floor. Yes, ladies! Yes, ladies! But Glenn's are defending really well. I've not seen many miss tackles today. Yeah, the referee sees something he doesn't like. That's a penalty to Alan Glenn. It's high tackle, looks like it was called, the same new signal. And Alan Glenn's go for the tackle. Well, they tried to get the way through. Oh, that man bashing Sean Kirk. Uncharacteristic from Sean Kirk, missing a tackle there. And a man chips into space. Does he have a bit of time? But Callum, Callum Kirk successfully covers. As you probably can guess, Sean Kirk, Callum Kirk, brothers. Well done, Ewan. Great clear on Ewan. As Pete Keenan tried to make his way through, but he's taken to the ground. And now they have the ball back, they've stole it. Oh, Lens now defending again their own. They've actually got two sets of brothers on the field at the moment. We've got the Cambros and the Cups. Stuart Cameron and Neil Cameron. And they look like to try and get something from this game. And they do! So Lens lose the, the clean sheet, but 57 5 now. And they get something from this game. And that's uh, the joy of the home fans. So 57 5. Oh, he's not? Oh, it's, it's been deemed, I think he must have been knocked on, but he's playing the offside advantage, so it's now an offside. So it's, uh, and a man looks to go himself, but it's taken to the ground. Scott Hughes trying to get in, get his. Closer and closer to the line, and then I'm trying to go. Try to work the way over. Oh, the there. There it is. Sense of steel. Sense of steel. Glenn's shown that defensive effort they've been shown all year. Neil Cameron and Stuart Price working together to stop that line coming over. That ball coming over. That line. Yes, Gav! And Ross being in a good tackle there. Tannen man trying to go himself. Does he get over? And he does. He does. Well done, Tannen. They've left with some points today. So that's 57 5 at the current there. And in getting some points. 57 5. Glenn's letting the defence slip us a little bit, but it was naturally going to happen at some point, didn't he? Our defence is actually the one of our stronger suits this season. We've conceded very little. But this game here, we've kind of let the heads drop, you think. We thought games in the bag, let's relax a wee bit. We've won the league. We didn't. Looks like we've won the league. Looks like we've got promotion. Let's just kind of relax and slow down a bit. Got another, got first team superstar back. Yeah, played ten. Young player of the year last year, I think. Yeah. And he wants another. Be word with you, fine people. So, Peter, what? Just what would you say about this game? What's your main takeaways of what's the good things and the bad things? I think um, the Glens have obviously shown they can win the game. They've done that in the first twenty minutes of the game. Uh, it's an easy win for the Glens, but uh, totally sat off for a bit there. Um, yeah, it wasn't good enough. Letting them in defensively, letting the penalties, penalties are a big thing for the Glens. And uh, it's just not good enough, because once we show we can attack, it's easy. Their attack is just not good enough. So once we let them have the penalties to get the uh, territory in the pitch, it's, it's quite unfortunate. But look at that. They're quite terrible, I would say. They're really quite bad at it. Come on, Pete, we've got to show respect to our opposition, do we not? Yeah, yes, they're very good, but um, compared to the Glens, I mean, they're quite lucky to get a try. But it's quite an easy one for the Glens, and we're going to move up the league and, and beat all the other teams in the league. So, yeah, very good. Good words there from Peter McCauley. He's one to watch in the future. Right, you'll see him next week when the uh, Alan Glens first team are going to play uh, Lassie Wade, I think. Lassie Wade, yeah, in the semi final. Lassie Wade. 
peek in and looks again, to get the ball. Again. Tries to run it in. Do his character. Oh, he almost gets there. Carrying in an access from half. Dummies and shows it goes. Oh, he got, tries to go himself. Does he get it in? And he does. He'll be buzzing about that one. Neil Cameron running that ball and getting that try, making it 62 7. Don't you see them? Not really. <laughs> Too bad. I love you, kids. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not 100% sure. It's 62 7 or 67. So this is Adam Leffin. Do you start getting away from him? No. Adam Leffin successfully converts. 62 7 to Adam Leffin. 62 7. Any beers left? Any beers left? No, I think so. No, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> And again, something from this game is taking over. <laughs> Fraser Phillips looking very professional as the touch zone. And Adam Leffin with a chip. Does he go out? Oh, he stopped it. Yeah. And he him himself. But Adam Leffin chases his own kick and gets the kick. Or he's stolen by Conor and Cofield. Oh, unlucky there from Cooper Brown. Conor and Cofield with a good steal there, but Cooper Brown having a slight knock on, meaning it's an iron screw. <laughs> hey, thoughts on the game so far? My actual assistant, I've had a few guests today, but you are my assistant today. I know, Phil, you forgot about me for a minute. You seem to have stood down. Oh, a wee mistake there from Aaron, which gives Glenn's a line. Jake is a bit of like party fever is on the mind now, Hamish, so they just aren't closing out as much as they could have. Definitely, you can see some boys trying to stuff out that they don't, wouldn't normally do, but I think that's quite a good thing. They're gonna, if they're going to try it, might as well just try it in an actual game situation. If you do it in training, it, it's a different kind of scenario, it's a different feeling. And, uh, not straight there, being by Caulfield, he looks visibly frustrated with that one. So, he's gone back to the panel. Hey, anyway, I'm trying to show up. Scott, do you want to play Fraser Phillips looking professional, he's touched up, but he gets to handle his retirement early. Scott Young being offered, but refusing. Oh, son, is out, ladies and gentlemen, I can't really see the game. And I have the ball. He knock on there from the iron man, so that'll be a strong down the line's ball. 62. Heads have went down from both sides. Classic try, Strode's skills, cutting back in, finding the space and running it. Yeah, that kind of Is that a let him brace? Yeah. Yeah, let him brace.
left and now scoring two. There's been a few twos today. I don't think we've had a hat trick yet, have we, Hamish? Not yet, anyway, but still some time left in the game. Ref's just checking his watch, so it's only like 10 minutes left, so it's not 100%, but still plenty of time for another try or two for the boys. So that'll be 67. 67. Slot, slot, his own try. He's 16 and 7. 16 and 7. Well, you can see who's had a great season. I had a slight miss kick today. Quick word for the people, Connor, just to say hi. Howdy. Howdy, there we go. Connor McKenzie, that's much you get out of that man. Lovely boy, but a man of few words, that's why we describe him. <laughs> and Aaron getting quite a good kick there. And he goes right out, so that'll be a Glenn's ball, but deep in the 22. <laughs> Fraser Phillips being the man with the flag. Taking his job very seriously. Field not having the luxury of a boy, ball boy today, so he has to run and get his own ball. Loose <laughs> to throw. Gives it to Lennon successfully. Gives it to Pricey. Takes quickly. Caldo, a big man from Moik, looking to get some space in. And Cameron with good hands there. He gives it to Lennon, goes to go himself. Aye, he goes to ground instead. Not going for the silly pass. Gives it to Brown. Brown shows it goes. Ball goes back. Oh, 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 Gives it to Cofield, the man who is following him. Cofield goes to ground. Pick and go there from Cook again. Price gives it to Lennon. Lennon tries to find a way over. No point reaching it. Deserves a try after this. Line out performance today. Ah, there we go. We have a try for the young man who looks visibly happy. Young man Cooper Brown scoring there. Take his team to 72. 7. D, D, D. 72 7. Young man, Cooper Brown. Cooper Brown scored that try. Can I see? I'm too short. 74. Sorry, 74. I don't know if I was quite a tough. Tough oh kick Score remains 74-7. Tough old day for Aaron, but do you know what? You always turn down quite a lot of games. You always learn a lot of things when you get a good pumping, don't you, Hamish? Yeah, during a big loss, you kind of learn when you get turned down quite easily because you need to target, and then when you try, try and change it, they expose it now. So, yeah, we've we'll exposed it and they've changed how they've defended, changed the flag up, they'll know. Who's playing where, well, but. Every time they change, we seem to find another wee angle to go through. Left and go for the other counter attack. Pete Keenan looking to go himself, but he does his tackled. Want a bit of quick ball here, Glenn. Looks to go himself. He wants the pass. Gives it to Boomer Corson. Cameron gives it to Scott Hughes. Hughes to Hughes. Hughes has it. Great top 
Stewart there from Caulfield. And the pass to the line. Oh, that's Stewart Cameron for slight, not the best pass middle he received, but a slight smell of all that. Try, I believe. There he goes. Try my dramatic dive. For the line. 79, 7 talents. And, and there we go. Alan Glenn's now champions of West Reserve 2. And now we've got promotion. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, and there it is, Alan Glenn's second 15 West Reserve 2 champions. These boys have wrote their name in the history books this year, and they are worthy, worthy champions. Having a slow start with a wee loss away, but brought it back, and there you go, your champions, Alan Glenn's RFC second 15 West Reserve 2. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see you next week for the Alan Glenn semi-final. Plus 15.